Hi guys, welcome back to Single Single Eating Stars. Today we are going to be reading a book called Caillou and the Big Bully. One morning, Mommy has to go in Caillou's bedroom three times. Caillou, we're going to be late. I don't want to go to daycare, begs Caillou. Are you sick? Uh, Mommy asks. She touches his forehead. You don't have a fever. When Caillou gets to daycare, he sees Theo. Theo is looking mean today. He is bigger than Caillou and much stronger. Caillou is afraid of him. Caillou wants to cry. He feels very little. That night, Caillou wakes up. He is having a bad dream. He doesn't want to be alone in the dark. He starts crying. Mommy comes to confront him. It's okay. I'm here. Everything goes all right, she says softly. You can go back to sleep now. The next day, the children are playing ball in the playground. Theo shoves Caillou roughly. Caillou walks away without saying a word. He doesn't feel like playing anymore. Caillou sits down and watches the other kids having fun. Caillou is in a bad mood when he gets home. Rosie is always there, always following around. Caillou shouts angrily, I don't want to play with you. Stop bothering me. Go away. Mommy hears Rosie crying. She knows that Caillou has been unkind to his little sister. Mommy takes Rosie in her arms and says, I don't know what's going on with you today, Caillou. Another day at daycare, Theo wants to get onto the swing, so he pushes Caillou out of his way. Then, when they get to the floor, he shoves Caillou hard. I'm the strongest, he says proudly. Caillou isn't very hungry at dinner that night. I'm worried about you, Caillou, Mommy says. I don't know what's wrong. Caillou starts to cry. Theo is always hurting me at daycare. He's too big for me. Caillou is sobbing. Mommy and I are here to protect you at home, Daddy says. At daycare, you have to manage on your own, Caillou. I'm going to show you how to stand up for yourself. The next day, Caillou glares at Theo. When Theo gets too close, Caillou says very loudly, No, stop. I don't like that. Theo is surprised. He goes to play somewhere else. Caillou is proud of himself. Theo wants to sit in Caillou's place, so he gives him a push. Theo, you are big and strong. Sometimes you scare the other children. Please ask politely and be gentle, the daycare teacher says. She keeps Caillou beside her. Caillou fe feels much better now. Okay, guys, it's the end of the story. Now, the moral of the story is that we should always try and stand up for ourselves. And if we are being mean to anyone, we should say sorry. Because we don't know if they're feeling hurt or not. So, guys, that's the end of the story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment to Twinkle Tinkle Reading Stars. For now, bye!